Hello folks, time for another video and shave. All right, so the GoPro's back. It's very sunny in my bathroom today because we're supposed to be getting this wicked storm. Um, so like the sun's coming in, it's coming out, but it's at a weird angle coming through my skylight today. It's like whoosh, weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I got a couple uh, folks were like, in you know, my last video kind of like was crappy. Well, I knew it was going to be kind of crappy, but what had really happened also was when I recorded it, there was a lot of shaking going on, which you guys didn't see. Um, when I put it into my editor, um, there's a feature where I where you can eliminate the shakiness. And it was the camera was doing something weird, like trying to focus, and I don't know, but it took care of the shakiness, but it kind of cut the video down to like grainy. And plus, I knew the audio was going to be crappy. But I'm back to the GoPro today. Um, I don't have it in its waterproof case. Hopefully, it won't fall into the sink. <laughs> I got it on its good mount, and uh, which is the frame mount for the GoPro. So, I was laying in bed the other day, and I was watching uh, Kevy's video. And he was using Sterling soap, which I love Sterling. You know, I always always have Sterling on, you know, on deck over here. Always got the almond cream ready to go. But, you know I don't like real perfumey or cologne, like heavy cologne kind of uh, soap scents. I mean, I do have like Mountain Man from Sterling, which, you know, is a kind of heavy cologne scented soap. But... I'm not a big cologne guy. Like, I don't like the Creed Aventus kind of stuff, even though Mountain Man is uh, a form of Creed. It's, uh, I think it's Creed Mountain Water or some, something like that. I'm not, I was never into, like, expensive colognes. You know, the good Polo or Obsession for me was, like, you know, back in the 80s was my, my deal. But anyway, there is one cologne scent that I love, and I've never really smelled the actual, um... I don't know if you want to even call it a clone, probably just an EDT. But I really like Aqua de Parma. Now, my first scent running with Aqua de Parma was Razor Rock Triple X way back when. In fact, I still have like, mm, still have plenty of this. Because to me, this doesn't really smell like cologne. It, it's just, no, well, it's, to me, it's just awesome. So, I was on a hunt a few months ago on, I do love the Razor Rock um, soap, and the, you know, the Triple X, which is the Aqua de Parma scent, you know, their homage to, or homage to uh, Aqua de Parma. So I remember I messaged Douglas over at PAA, and he was like, hey, I have, I have Aqua D. So I ran ahead and I got the Aqua D. It's in the older formula, the cocoa butter formula, but... That firm is still killer, so I was really in the mood after watching, you know, Kevy's uh Kevy's video. He was Sterling Pia uh, I'm so bad, you know, my memory now is like crap all oh, but it's Piacenza, I think. Trust me. Maybe my next shave I'll have it by then. But um it's from Sterling and it, it's another Aqua de Parma, you know, kind of smelling soap. So but today I'm gonna use the Aqua D. I, you know, it's just, I love the Razor Rock Triple X, but the performance on this is way better. And the scent is, they're almost the same exact scent, except this is just a little bit more predominant. So, not that I've ever smelled the cologne, but I just like the way this smells just a little bit better. Now my wife's probably, don't tell my wife, but remember I told you that I broke my little a scooper for my soaps when I'm going to bowl out there. So I was going through the drawers in there and my wife had like an older uh, you know, hair clippy thing sitting in there. So I kind of grabbed it and I was kind of using it as a spoon. I was like whoo, whoo, whoo. and I actually put way too much of my bowl. I actually was soaking it while I was in the shower so I can actually probably, I'm going to use this as some as some bloom water or whatever. I don't even know what you'd call it if you're just soaking it and you're just going to use the water as a pre-shave, but whatever. So I'm going to use the bloom water as a pre-shave because um, I don't have to use the cube because I put way too much soap in here and a little bit too much water. Now brush today, I'm going to use the invisible knot brush. 
That's just a joke. <laughs> if you watched my last video, you know what happened. Now I'm going to use the uh, Atomic Rocket today from PAA. Since I'm using their soap, I might as well use their brush. The Atomic Rocket. It has that synthetic knot. I do soak it even though if it's synthetic because, I don't know, it just seems to be the right thing to do. I'm just going to wet the face a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this water that's been sitting on the soap. And I'm just going to rub it in as a pre-shave. I do have a little red mark up here by my lip, so I don't know what that is. And I was going to lather this soap off camera since I am using my GoPro. And I know that'll work if I pause it. <laughs> but maybe I'll just do it on camera. But that soap is slick. That's why I like the, you know, the old PA, you know, Phoenix base was great too. So, just going to lather it up in the bowl with the atomic rocket. With that nice soft knot that's in there. I think it's 26 mil. I don't know. I don't want those to be mad at me if I give you the wrong knot size. It's either a 24 or 26. I think it's a 26. It's pretty big. I mean, that's so, that's so whips up fast. I'm probably going to have tons left over because I put way too much in the bowl. I actually forgot how soft that soap was. Like, I thought it would be hard. I'm going to have to really, like, scrape it hard to get it off of there, out of the container. But I want to push a little too deep, and I was using that big hair clip there to scrape the soap out. Keep on forgetting to grab a coin. Because I used to use a coin before I, my granddaughter gave me that cool little Cooper thing. So, yeah, this is great. I mean, I'm just going to go with that. I think that's ready to rock and roll. Oh, I'm like forgetting my duties as a shave dude. Razor, it's not going to be far from what I normally use. It's still going to be in the Rockwell family. But today I'm going to use the 6C which is my first Rockwell and I'm on plate number four because that is my lucky plate I don't know if you can see it you should be able to see it this razor is so shiny and blade wise you know the Gillette seven o'clock blacks were talking to me which is their super platinum we're like yo dude you've been using these chroma blades and what about me I was your favorite one of your favorite blades not too long ago so We'll use that today. So, I hope the videos of better quality, even though I got the sun coming in today. So, all right, so we'll do a uh, little Aqua D from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Boy, this is, this is a great scent. I remember when I first bought the Razor Rock Triple X, I was like, wow, what is this? Like, you know, I was like, is this something they made up themselves? And then I remember I went to look at the scent profile, and it mentioned something about something called Aqua de Parma. Now, I know there's an, they, Aqua de Parma also makes a shave soap, but it's like, I think like 60 bucks. I almost bought it once. And then I was like, I could buy like three tubs of an artisan soap for the price of that. So I was like, no way. I'm not going to do that. Especially when I was, you know, originally getting the Razor Rock, which I like the scent. All right. So anyway, Rockwell 6E, plate four, Gillette. Seven o'clock black. It 
It's okay, Rockwell 6S. This is your brother. <laughs> I like the 6C also, but just while I always pick the 6S, I like the little bit of added weight in the stainless steel on the 6S. I know there's a whole bunch of comparison videos of people shaving with the 6S and then the 6C, and then some people saying that the 6C was better because it was. It had a shiny coating on it, so it glided better. I don't have any glide problems with either, of course, this or with the 6S. The 6S has that beaded finish on it, the stainless steel beaded finish. But it glides fine for me. I was laying in bed this morning and I was like, I had like this red bumpy, like almost like a, a hive come out like this morning. I'm like, what the heck is that? But I think sometimes it has something to do with the new med all the new medications I'm on. Because the medications definitely do mess with my stomach. So I pretty much live on Greek yogurt now because that settles my stomach with the medication. Well, at least I hope the audio is better now because the audio is really horrible <laughs> in my last video. Sorry for that. In fact, I was even thinking about not posting it, but I thought that shave was kind of funny what happened at the end of my shave with the brush. Because that stuff usually doesn't happen when the camera's rolling. <laughs> Great residual slickness on the soap. Like gun, but where is your lather, dummy? You got all that lather in the bowl and you're shaving dry. Well, it's technically in that dry. I still have all that slickness on there. But I do have plenty of luxury right here. So, so pillowy and smooth. Uh, got the old soap up the nose. I feel so much more at home now. I see the GoPro in front of me. <laughs> yeah, because I was playing around with using my phone. The I do like the image from my phone because it, it is crystal clear, but it's just the ease of using my GoPro. Plus, I was so used to the GoPro, so I used them for years while I was, you know, fishing, so. Kind of just basically point them and forget about them.
I don't know if you guys noticed, but it seemed, to be, it seemed lately to be a lot of Facebook hacks going on. You know, get messages from friends that didn't send them. And My mom, who was actually not on Facebook, she actually called me. And she's like, you have to be careful with that Facebook thing. People are getting in trouble. I was like, okay, mom. <laughs> All right. That's feeling smooth. Wow, that's slick this is. Now remember, I didn't use any kind of pre-shave. I know how, you know, CK6 is a new formula, but I'm telling you, the older Coke and Butter formula, still no slouch. I mean, the CK6 is killer too, but... I like the old formula. It's never let me down. Just enjoying that feedback from the razor. All right, I think I'm going to stop just due to the fact that I push myself sometimes like a dummy, and my face is totally BBS. I mean, I got a little bit there, but. It's so minute that, like I know that if I actually ran the razor there, and I did anyway, cause I'm stupid, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Why oh, I got so much soap left. All right, just gonna do a little coldy rinsey. That slickness is crazy good. And plus I was messing with the other camera, so I didn't even, you know, I was so preoccupied when I did my other video that I was just like, I don't think I went over everything. And I mean, you know, I do these in the fly. I don't have a script or anything, so. I don't know if some of the YouTube YouTubers that do shave videos go in there with an agenda. I kind of just kind of walk in the bathroom, I put my camera up, and I kind of go, okay, I'm going to use this today. Because usually there's no pre-prep, you know. And I usually stick it up before I jump in the shower, and then sometimes I come out and everything's all foggy and, you know, full of, uh, you know, the steam that the shower created, so... Sometimes I have the fan on and the window open just so it doesn't happen. All right. Oh, and I also forgot to grab a shaving towel, so <laughs> I grabbed one of the beach towels. Which I could tell is freshly washed because it does have it does have fabric softener in it, and I really don't like to use fabric softener right after I shave because sometimes it irritates my skin. Yeah, I got a weird. Like a red mark there. At least a red mark on my nose went away. That was some strange stuff. Well, let me just go over the shave. I didn't even bring out what I was going to use after the shave because I got hair. Because huh? I wasn't sure. But after the Aqua de Parma, I know the Aqua de, the Aqua D, sorry. There's no affiliation between the Aqua D and Aqua de Parma from PAA. <laughs> 
I think that he has a disclaimer on his website about that too. But it has a nice citrusy note to it too, so I think we'll finish this off nicely. I also want to use a bomb when I'm totally, totally done. And I think I'm gonna go with my true and tried bomb, but sorry, talking to the shower curtain. But I'm gonna do a little citrus, so I'll go a little lime sec. I don't have the matching splash for this. Which I should have got because I do love that aqua de scent. This is a perfect pairing, let me tell you. I really like it. And I'll just let that dry and I'll recap the shave. So that was PAAs. You know, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Easier to say PAA. Aqua D. This is the homage to Aqua de Parma. I can smell this all day long. Mm. It's going to be a lot more Aqua de Parma style shaves coming up. And like I said, I also like the Razor Rock also. But the performance on the uh, Phoenix is just a little bit better. And the scent for me is a little bit stronger but this is a good soap too very inexpensive it was one of my first soaps my first artisan style soaps and razor was the rockwell 6c not the success but the 6c on plate number four which should be there and blade that's in it is the Gillette 7 o'clock black, which is the super platinum. It's right there. I definitely have a hair in my mouth and it's really pissing me off. That's what happens when I use the beach towel. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Super platinum. Technically it's the Gillette 7 o'clock black. I hope that's not upside down because I'm sometimes stupid. Oh, that was good. And the uh, wrapper looks like this. In case you guys have never seen it. Like I said, this is also one of my favorite blades. Oh, I do have a little weeper right there. That's probably because the lime sec was like, hey. All right, so brush was the atomic rocket today from Phoenix. And you can tell all that great soap is in there. And just look at that soap. Whoa. That's some good stuff. I mean, and I got plenty to go everywhere. Aqua de Parma scent. No affiliation with Aqua de Parma. <laughs> you know, I think once I was walking through one of the major, you know, stores in the mall, one of the anchor stores, you know, at the end of the Macy's or Nordstrom's. And I think I did, you know, a while back, smell an Aqua de Parma, which did smell, of course, like the, the soap stay, but I like it in a shaving soap. And like I said, I'm not a cologne kind of guy. I like my shave soap sweet for some reason. It's just the way I like it. I like them sweet or I like them spicy. Like it's not like, you know, like bay rum. It's like, you know, the Atomic Age Bay Rum. One of my favorites. You know, my favorite Phoenix scent is uh, Organism 46B. Now, no matter how broke I'm, I ever will, I ever am, which I am. <laughs> the second Douglas comes out with Organism 46B, in the CK6 formula, trust me, I'll definitely pick it up somehow. Because I actually am running kind of low on the organism. Now let me see, last time I was whisking up the brush, we know what happened. Not to this brush, but to another brush. But there you go, there's that awesome knot in the atomic rocket. And this 
this brush is also priced exceptionally well. I don't know the, I don't remember the exact price, but I know it's, I believe it's under twenty dollars. I think when I bought that, that brush was fourteen dollars. I don't know what it is now because I didn't look it up lately because I'm lazy. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Now I put that lime sack on, but I'm gonna finish off the shave with. I know it's not the same scent, but I do like, you know, Phoenix's Star Jelly. And one of my go-to Star Jellies when I'm shaving with a lot of different soaps is Club Guy. It's kind of got that, you know, not Panade Clubbing kind of scent. Like heavily, but it has a light Panade scent, but to me it's more barbershop-ish. I just like it because it's kind of, I mean, it's... It's not like it's a neutral scent, but it pairs well with this Aqua D. And I love the Star Jellies, too. I love, you know, and I was never a bomb or a, or a Star Jelly kind of guy until one day I was, like, watching these videos and these people were using all these heavy do like Nivea bombs. I have a couple Nivea bombs and they always look greasy. And then I was chatting with somebody. This was a couple years ago in one of the Facebook groups. I'm like, nah man, you gotta try the star jelly. Which I did and I was like, whoa. You know it has a little bit of menthol in it but not crazy where if you rub it you know near your eyes your eyes don't water and you know stuff like that. So that was the Club Guy Star Jelly. And of course that that was the Aqua D soap. Which I love that soap because I love that scent. But I don't know what that red mark is. Huh. Well it was nothing big that I hit when I was shaving I had it before I went in, but it's okay. I hope the video school today because like I says I went back to my GoPro and uh I the audio definitely should be better because it does have three microphones on it. All right, that was a good shave. That was awesome. Well, let me just rinse out the bowl real quick before I leave you folks. See how much of this soap I actually didn't get mixed up in the bottom of the bowl. Because I put way too much in today. I was greedy. I was a greedy bowl uh, person. Actually, I don't think, there's, I, think I got it all. That this water is hot, I can't even put my hand on the ball and feel. There's a little itty bitty bitty bit left, but like <laughs> nothing. And I put a ton of soap in there. So it shows what a great job that atomic rocket brush did. Yep, so look at that. There's like a smidgen in the bottom. And that was a timeless ball. In fact, I do have my Phoenix, my the older Phoenix scuttle sitting right there. Which uh, I really use them in the winter time when I want that nice warm lather. All right, so that was a great shave. Just worried about this for when I shave next time. I hope it goes away. It's not a bump; it's just like red there. But huh, whatever. Yeah, that's smooth. Mmm, smells great. Wish you could smell how great my hand smells. Got to get smell the vision soon. Alright folks, so if you liked my video, thumbs up. If you didn't like my video, say like, yeah, thumbs down. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already sub subscribed. And there's now a cool little link on the bottom there. That's the subscribe. Ooh, excuse me. That was weird. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat breakfast before you shave. <laughs> Alright, so awesome. So until next shave, hopefully this will clear up right here and be able to shave in a couple days. So until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>